Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Today is Monday, October 11th, 2021. Heading over to my second service call of the day. Uh, this client, we installed a Burnham ES24 with two zones and an AO Smith, I think a 50 gallon gas fired water heater a couple years ago. And we're just going out to his house. He gave us a call just to do routine preventative maintenance, you know, the seasonal tune up and um, inspection, make sure everything is good. Hopefully it's pretty routine. Uh, I wanna show uh, one error code um, about what happens if the spill switch on a Burnham ES2 series goes out um, because it could trick some people. So just want to give you guys a little bit of uh, food because I know you're hungry. All right, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already. We're almost at 25,000 subscribers to the channel. And if, as always, thoughts, feedback, criticism, down in the comment section down below. All right, let's go. How are you? Mike, how are you doing? How's nice everything to been? See you. you too. Yeah, good, good. Everything good? Yeah, got something. Excellent. I gotta clear it up for you, you know. Okay, thank you. you. Wouldn't have no. Perfect. Still looking as new. Yeah. yeah. Still looking new. It's been looking good. Very nice. It's a little bit of rust you there. Ready to do your work, okay? Okay. All right, want to do me a favor? Just turn on the thermostat upstairs. Okay. All right. Wait one minute, buddy. What temperature? Yeah, set it to like 80 for now. All right. All right. Cool. I'll set everything up. I have a dog upstairs. Okay. As long as you don't bite me, I'm good. <laughs> Excellent. Yep. In a few years, I think we put this in 2018 with the Amtral in the right orientation, of course. It's a nice Burnham ES24. ES24. A little bit of rust there. Just raise the thermostat up. All right, Let's see what's going on with this bad boy. Just a tune up. Pressure is okay. Yeah, we should have put a longer drip leg on there. This one looks like it's got a little discharge there on the relief valve. It's a long shank relief valve. We're gonna have to change that relief valve right there. All right, I just took the front cover off. We have STA-8, that's running. We're gonna break out the Testo, and do a combustion analysis. You can see I did a printout there at the last ones. Good readings. All right, all right. Wait for the Testo to zero out. And I'm gonna take my combustion reading from inside want to be there, you want to be inside the boiler before it gets mixed with the air. Let's turn this on. Let's get the probe. I'm pleased you're so early. Now we have to get my stuff done, you know? Yeah, yeah no Did problem. Did you first stop? Did you first stop? Second stop. Once you did something already? Yeah, What time you start? Like 7 o'clock? 7.30. Oh, uh, okay. 7.30. Ah, well, you know, you know when you call for service sometimes, you could be end up spending all day before somebody show up, you know? Well, it depends. Depends on the day. Mm -hmm. You know, we give, that's why we give two hour time windows. Yeah, You yeah. know, like your point was 8 to 10, yeah. right? I had a 7.30 to 9.30. So, I was there at 7.30. Yeah. Now I'm here, it's a little after 8.30. We'll be here, you know, 20 minutes or so, and make okay. sure everything's burned properly. Yeah. You got a little drip on the relief valve on the water on the water heater though. 
See the bottom, the end of that copper pipe's got some green on it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, how long, have you, have you noticed that before? No, no, no. You got a little bit of discharge coming out of there. Set it. A little button right there. See that? If that's out, all right, you're gonna get a, a, a code. Let me show you. Let me just, just pause that. We got a good reading. Let me show you what happens. Let's say this was out on safety, right? Let's see the boiler turns off, and you're gonna get an error message here. Right, we'll wait for that error message. See that? STA 15. 15 is waiting for a limit to close. A lot of people get confused with that and they blame it on the damper. Right, but if you got an STA 15, it's a limit. All right? And all you have to do is push in that little button right there. But you shouldn't have to do that ever. Once in a blue moon, maybe. She's gonna fire back up now. I'm gonna go look in the truck, see if I got a long shank relief valve on it. All right, I got one. First, I'm gonna check the expansion tank now. I know it's good, because this hasn't popped yet, right? Just a defective relief valve. We got a little bit of discharge in there, actually. See that? Oh, she's dripping. Let's see. Check that pressure out here. See, tank is bad. We've got a bad expansion tank, causing the relief valve to drip. And surprising this didn't this didn't go out that didn't go out interesting let me see if i have an st5 in the truck the relief valve is dripping because the expansion tank failed let's see we put this in wow 2017 huh i thought it was two years ago So the expansion tank failed, and normally, like this little cap here, yeah. will turn color. There's little indicators there, but in this case, she's leaking water. I don't have a ST5. I have a ST12, and I don't know if it's going to fit there or not. Let's see. So these things are filled with water, right? And one way of taking them off is just to drop them. I like to pump them down. Yeah. That way you don't get the water everywhere, you know? Yes, yes. So I'm just gonna use this little inflator. Some water there. All right. 
gonna spin this off. Just like that. Alright. Let's put this right here. Now, let's see if I can get that new tank in there. Let's see, you gonna fit in there? Yep, you'll fit in there. Get some Teflon tape. You had a good summer? Yeah, I'm not, you know, a guy that goes and run around all about, you know. Then I have the dog. I hear it. I, I can't leave the dog and go, you know what I mean? Yep. Usually I go on vacation and then, you know, I can't leave the dog home. Man. No. Take the dog with you? No, he's a big dog, man. Oh, yeah? He's a Dane. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's a big dog. Yeah. You see, I had a fence in my yard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Because I can't even take him to walk because when you see the other dog, you know what I mean? Yep. So, you know, I let him, I let him uh, for a few hours in the back. So he won't, he won't make noise at night, you know? I hear you. Yeah, but he's a good dog. Because How many pounds is he? I think he's about 160 or something like that. Woo! It's a big boy. Yeah, he's only two and a half years old. <laughs> But he's really a good dog, he watch, you know what I mean? It's a lot of fun, you know what I mean? Yep. Man's best friend. Yeah. I think my daughter bought him, you know, and you know. But of course he left him with us, so. <laughs> so you got I the dog. I don't mind though, I don't mind. He's really a nice dog. That's nice. Curtain's attacking me. No, it's not cooperating. Too big? No, I think the threading is messed up on the tank, so I'm gonna take this elbow out and use that as a guide. I might have started to cross thread it when I first put it in. So, let's see. Yeah, it's a little, little cross threaded there. Let's see. Fix you. Yep. Yeah, the way it was slant. Yeah, it was a little bit of a slant, so now I'm good. So, I'm just gonna have to be Teflon tape. Then the boy took out, and then put the bigger tank in. Just got that to fit. And now, let's take the big one out. back on slowly. Wanna open up a hot water faucet somewhere? Mm -hmm. Hot water faucet? Wanna open one up? in. Exp 
expansion tank <laughs> just makes it there. Just makes it. One of the things I didn't show you is, what, is that this comes pre-charged to 40 PSI. The house pressure is 53. Expand the tank pressure with the inflator to match house pressure. So it's 53 PSI. Well, if I had an ST5 in the truck, it probably would have been better. But the ST12 just by the skin of teeth fit in there. It's like a cunt hair. Oh, did I say that? It's a little hair right there was all that was left. Got that squeezed in, that ST12, swapped out the relief valve, and wow, I can't believe it's like four years old already. We put this thing in in 2017. Wow, time flies. Time does fly. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed creating it. Hope you guys get something out of that error code, the STA, I think it's 15 or 17, you know, waiting for a limit to close. You know, a lot of guys, they, 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 they see that and they think it's the damper. You know, waiting for a limit to close, you know? And it could play games on you. So hopefully you guys got something out of it. If not, kick rocks, go play in traffic. All right, be well, God bless, stay safe. Make sure you check us out on WhatsApp and on Discord, links in the description box down below. And as always, if you want some free stickers, that's me, Mikey Pipes. If you ain't testing, you're guessing. If you don't have a combustion analyzer, you should not be doing heating tune-ups. Invest in yourself, invest in your company, have the right tools for the job, and deliver quality and professional service on every single job. All right, that's my food for thought. Be well, God bless, stay safe.